Sweden Empire. Welcome back everyone to another episode of Victoria 2 because I am just realizing I am not in Victoria 2. I am in EU4 which is a great game! Yeah! Not as great as Victoria 2 but definitely a great game. So anyways guys, um, talking serious talk here. Uh, basically from last game, it's not going to shock some of my older viewers but to my newer ones, probably going to be pretty mad at me. I basically forgot to save and we lost like basically when I re-recorded yesterday after I thought the episode was way too short and I thought you guys deserved much more so yeah I really do think of you guys sometimes and basically I lost all that progress so we're basically doing that all over again so it's if I must be honest with you there really hasn't been much change even the thing I do like about I, the, the real thing I like about EU4 more I like about Victoria 3, I can give you this, is that if you go back like a couple months, it really does not make much of a difference. Like, legitly, it does not. I mean, going back a couple months in this game is like, is like almost like chipping a toenail at a human body. It's just like so insignificant, no one would think of anything. But what we did now is that we now have a fleet slot for, oh, wait, no. <laughs> no, I don't want to only click it, no. Basically, guys, we have a fleet slot to do something we want to do. Um, I've been thinking kind of long and hard about what we should get, you know, like maybe we should get some trade, exploration. Exploration would be nice. Like, Quest for a New World is definitely something that would be pretty nice to have. But what I might get first, and I'm seriously thinking of this, is getting the defensive ideas. Because what we need to do is we need to actually, before we go over to, you know, conquer the New World, we need to conquer all of our next door neighbors. Specifically Denmark and Norway, so because we are the, like I said we are the legacy of the Vikings and To be the legacy of the Vikings. We must first unite all of Scandinavia and then we can go back and we do and we do the journey of the great Eric the Red All right, but until then we have to first unite ourselves and to unite ourselves. We need to really you know seriously get everything rolling and you know this is good for if you don't want to do much, but I'm very much an attacker kind of person, and I very much need this national mo manpower modifier. We are, we kind of stink when it comes to that. Like, we really do stink. So what I'm going to get first is this, so I can start working on this. King, we unlock the offensive modifier group. Hooray! And I hope I get national mod. And then we can lock this one up in a little bit later. But I think I'll probably get this next so I can get the National Modifier. Anyways, that is exactly what I just did. It was pretty awesome. And apparently I have a missionary available. But as you guys already know, we basically have no missionaries we can go send anywhere. It's a sad day for us. Um, I'm still waiting for our colonies to kind of convert. Like, travel time. A long, long time. Like, these guys take such a long time. Ugh. But eventually, I'm hoping eventually these guys will go. I don't know how many people are in this province. Uh, revolt list, not that big though. So I'm assuming I'm doing pretty good in most of my provinces. And yeah, it looks like we're generally just doing good. Right now, as again, as I was saying for my last video, I'm preparing for war for Sweden, okay? There, there is no doubt in my mind I am preparing for another war with me versus um, Denmark. There is just no doubt in my mind. But before we can do that, we must first get this alliance I've been wanting for years. Years. Like, we are... I am seriously trying to improve our relationships with the Balkans. He is doing it for 333 days. Good. And now he's doing it for more. It's starting to go up. That's not good. Um, But yeah, he's basically been doing that for a very long time. And we're going to be trying to improve our relationships as much as possible. Because we want to make sure that we are keeping up. And speaking of keep me up, how are we doing comparatively in technology? Like, I would hope we are not falling behind. I mean, I'm not assuming we're going to be the greatest in technology because, honestly, if I must be honest with you, I think I'm not really the true. I'm not really the best at keeping up with technology. I just kind of like, yeah, technology, technology, yeah. Uh, technology map mode. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, we are. Ooh, that is frighteningly bad. Though it's also frighteningly good at the same time. Because, like, we are... If, well, well, wait a second. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to stop for a second. Maybe go down to speed two. Okay, here comes the... Let's go to, like, speed three. There we go. Okay. Basically, guys, we are 443. Denmark is 333. So we're basically beating Denmark. That's a good sign. We're beating Norway. Uh, but we aren't beating them by much. France is 434. So we're basically as even with France. We're ahead of Arag Aragon. Uh, it looks like we're ahead of these guys. Uh, border dispute. Novgorod. <laughs> well, I just... I I just cannot stop messing with Novgorod. Novgorod is just like my secret, like, just destroy everything. Like, seriously so though, know, on the skill note, I'm planning on taking, like, all of this. Like, once I form Scandinavia, I'm just going to take all of this. I want to own the entire Balkan Sea, but... Before that, Novgorod, you're just going to get picked on and picked on and picked on. I'm not stopping it. I will get as much cores as I can on you. Um, but yeah, it seems like we're doing pretty good. Seems like we're doing pretty good, um... I mean, really, there's only a couple technologies, and really just a couple people out there that have, you know, advanced a slightly bit faster, but, honestly, I'm not scared of an invasion by Cornwall. <laughs> let's, let's be real here, I'm not afraid of them trying to come and kick my butt. So, for all intents and purposes, we are basically right there with the other technological groups, which is by far awesome. And I mean, we're almost about to go to 444. So that means we are, we, we're pretty good right now. Like, we're pretty dang good. Okay. Recruits flock to our standards. Recruitment time. Okay. Gain 20 mal. Mm. Get that. Because <laughs> I think my king, the ungrateful natives of, have risen and attacked up. Oh, no. Do I have to go send in my own... I could go send in my army. I mean... Let's go send in my army. I mean, Lapland has now proven that it needs to... Um... One second, guys. Okay, guys. Back. And basically what happened, you guys, if you want to know, um... I was... Settlers. There are currently... Oh, that tells you the number of how many settlers there are. Okay. Okay. To create a city. Okay, so I'm gonna have to... Hmm. I'm gonna have to really work on that. What about over here? How many there are? Looted. Okay, yeah, this is the province. I'm gonna have to go deal with those stupid natives. Okay, anyways. Yeah. We're basically just kind of chilling, billing, killing, whatever you guys want to say. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, if you want to know. Right now, like I said, we're just waiting for a lot of things to line up in our favor. First of all, we're waiting for the Teutonic Order to like us more. You know, to finally say, Yeah, we, we would like to form an alliance with you. Uh, you have no diplomatic descent. I'm going to wait until relationships around 105, and then I'll try to get that alliance with Teutonic. Mm. Once I get that alliance with the Teutonic Order... I'm gonna wait a couple years because I do want my manpower to recover just a little bit. What does my manpower look like? I haven't really looked at the manpower map mode too much. That's the player's map mode. This is the missionary map mode. Missionaries! Still can't send any. <laughs> uh, that's the accepted culture map mode, which is kind of cool, guys. Like, I, I think that could have... They should. I wish they would have added this kind of system into like Vicky 2. This would that would have made the game so much more sensical. Cause it was. Cause that's what kind of Vicky 2 is about. It's about the assimilation of the local cultures. I mean, it's also about the unequal unequal facts about you know, um, capitalism. But it's also about you know things like that. So right now my manpower is just completely dreaded. I mean, we are dead. In almost everywhere we go, we have terrible, terrible manpower. Wow. Yeah, we do have 109 here. But still, wow. Yeah, we need to kind of just wait here for a little bit. I'm just going to keep my soldiers right in this province, hoping that it will create a city. Because at this present pace, we will not make a, si a town for a very, very long time. This is going to take a very, very long time for that to make a town. And that's really, really sad. That's really it. Okay, let's see. You're almost there. Theocracy. Tolerance of the true faith. Oh, 
Yearly paper influence oh. ah. Plus the Prussian, which is always a good sign. Alright, that, that wasn't really a joke. That was really me just like saying the Prussian, they must be trustworthy. And that's not me making another joke. I'm really saying the Prussians are really trustworthy people. Like, seriously, they really are trustworthy people. Okay. And I don't know why I'm acting really awkward about this, but I'm really meaning what I say. So it's making me sound like I'm trying to make a joke, but I'm really meaning what I say. These are all very honest folk. And it's just about to 100, so what do I want to lose? Prestige or... You know, prestige isn't really that big of importance in this game. Like I said, prestige, I don't even know why they still... Okay, let's do this. Yes, send it, send it. Come on, get that alliance. Give me that alliance, you diplo. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. So guys, if I was to go to war right now against Denmark, which would be... Hmm, kind of funny because it would be all of Denmark's enemies... Uh, of the Teutonic Order, Livian Order, and me versus them. The real rivals are Brandenburg and Pom Pomerania. Not really understanding why, because they're not really... No, no offense, Sweden, but... Mm, I think I'm just slightly a bit more threatening than they are. Just saying, okay, you can best a new idea. Really? No, oh, I can't. That'll be a new tech. No, not quite a new tech. I'm getting there, though. Anyways, um... Basically, what we're going to do is that once we... I'm going to go send my ships out. We're going to go check out here. And we're going to go see how many troops um, our mighty neighbors of, uh, of Denmark have. I'm going to evaluate to see if it would be worth it to go to war with them now. Or if they're strong enough to where they could actually do something to us. Now, I know this is probably going to take a stability hit, so what I'll do right before is probably get a massive stability boost. Actually, should I just... I'm not sure I should. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to debate if I should actually start fabricating claims on anyone. Because right now, I still don't have any royal marriages with anyone, which is kind of good in some aspects, but... Issue embargo. Sell provinces. Fabricate claims. No, there's no... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I fabricate claims on everything I could fabricate claims on. That's that's when you know you really gotta stop. I, I'm just like I'm just like fabricate claim, fabricate claim, fabricate claim. Yeah, just keep fabricating everything. We will eventually take everything from them. Okay, let's just yeah, just keep fabricating claims. Anyways, um yeah, let's make sure our overextension isn't too bad right now. Let's see, let's see, overextension, overextension. Right there, manage. Okay, support the flu the Florentine school. Or lose a lot of a yeah whatever we can support it. <laughs> it's a school. I mean, it's gotta help at some point, right? Right. Well, that overextension should be gone in a couple days. Boost that. I have really no administration power anymore, but eh, that's okay. <laughs> like seriously, that's fine by me. But right now, um, just gonna fabricate more claims. You can build stuff. I could build stuff right about now. Do I want to build stuff? Not possibly. No. Not po what? Not possibly. No, was I don't know what I just said. That did not sound right. Uh, yeah, but holy shoot! Okay, we're gonna have to wait until Sweden gets. I mean, not sweet. Me, Denmark, Denmark, Denmark gets into some kind of stupid conflict that's gonna cause it to, you know, uh, do stupid things. So what I'm going to do is start patrolling the Balkan Sea. And, you know, gain some seaports in in my favor. Protecting our trade interests in the Balkan Sea with three light ships. Yeah, so we have three light ships protecting the Balkan Sea. Which is good. I mean, we don't really need that many. It's all just about preferences. And Pepper Sea is still pretty strong right now. Uh, we may take a... Okay, good call for Crusade. Why would I need a Crusade, though? I don't really need any land from the mu Muslims right now. I mean... They are... Oh, and look, Castile is finally going to war with Aragon. And Castile is going to win big time. With the Empire United, they will probably become the major land 
land force of like this area. Usually over here, the either the Hungarians or the Austrians become like land force over here. It depends if Austria takes all of Bulgaria. If they definitely take all of Bulgaria, then yeah, we have a force to be reckoned with. Uh, but yes. Let's see, how much did that increase my trade by? Whoa, that increased my trade by a lot. Okay, that's good. That is definitely good. But right now, our national manpower is going up. We are, we just, like I said, we have to kind of take it easy. We took a major, major amounts of beating from fighting all those other wars. I hate to admit it, but all those other wars kind of cost us a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, my king, the nation of the province of Navarra has now been converted. And uh, click to send a missionary. Actually, for once, we actually do have a reason to go send a missionary. Let's go do that right now before anything. And yes. Oh yeah, we actually have a reason to do stuff because we definitely don't want rebel. We don't want rebels in our country just because of some stupid, you know, law. And over here, how are you guys doing? You guys are slowly growing, which is good. I hate you guys so much. <laughs> Why do you not grow faster? Why? Uh, nah, I don't really hate them. They just ignore me a lot. Uh, I can't unlock any of this. I don't know why that nest, this little thing keeps popping up because it does kind of annoys me. Truce will expire. Oh yeah, with Novgorod. Novgorod's still kind of, eh. I'm not really ready to go to war with them again. And I don't really have high stake claims on them yet either. So it's not really like, Sweden is working on the fabricate claims in Asturias. Simeon is working on improving relationships. Okay, actually, we could stop improving relationships with them. And let's see, how many claims do we have so far? So we want to make sure that we can, if we need to, we can diplomatically expand. Trade, diplo. Let's see, we only have a claim right now on that so far. Alright. If we can get Kalia. Let's not get Kalia next. Alright, you... You are getting called off your mission. Because I I may like... Yeah, I may like these guys, but I need to kind of call them off. They're 158 too. I mean, honestly, unless I do something really stupid, I don't think they will ever break up with me. Okay. So now, these guys, I'm hoping that Denmark never unites all of its empire together. Because we can easily sweep them up and, if, and do stuff. Alright, you are free now. So what I'm going to do to you is I'm going to have you fabricate more claims. Because I like fabricating claims because it makes my life so much easier. So let's get to Kalia. Kalia. That way if we do conquer the next we'll gain like this entire thing. We'll gain this entire like the rest of, of Finland right over here. Or like Eastern Finland. Eastern part of Finland. That'd be pretty awesome. I mean this is... This is what we... Like I said this is where Scandinavia is really formed everyone. This is real Scandinavia right here. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And then Cornwall, I am surprised you are still in this game. Like how did how are the British not going to war with you yet? Do you have like a militaristic alliance with them? Like who are your allies? You have a truce you have a truce with England. Cornwall has a conquest Casabella I Against England? Uh guys never use that. You guys would get conquered so quick. Like really you guys would get conquered so quick. Alright, I can build another basic building. Uh, marketplace, local trade power, dock, uh, I do need at least one dock. Like, just one. I don't need, like, many, but I need at least one. So let's build a dock right there in Stockholm. Okay, and let us continue. Yeah, we need at least, yeah, it's not, another thing that's really good about this is that it's not, it's not too big to, like, be caring about all your buildings. Like, you don't need to build every single building in the world but in this place right here we need to really build a dock because we really need a good dock seize demand old rights so deny all rights or accept legitimate oh my goodness my legitimacy is already terrible please don't make me do that like seriously I, I can't give you old rights uh <laughs> oh and if you guys are wondering oh yeah if you guys are wondering why like I didn't read through that uh there's lots and lots of events in, in not EU3. I'm going to do that for a while on that. But it's honestly going to be kind of covering some to read through all of them. So you guys just pause it and you guys will basically get the gist of what I'm trying to say. And I make very educated guesses about what my ruler is. Because King Carling takes nothing from nobody. He doesn't care if you guys are poor. You guys just live with it. Got it? 
got it. Okay, another marketplace. All right. Let's see, where would be a good marketplace? We have a couple of them on the shores. Let's see, is there any good profitable places? All right, then we can't build it there. This farm belongs in our trade node. All right, we have the most power here. I would like to point that out right now. Uh, well, I don't want any place that would be in the in fighting. Let's see. Early rampage. Could I get different things? Speaking of which, what is our current quest? Oh, wait, I know what our current quest is. What am I think? What am I talking about? Okay. You, I'm going to build a second. Ah, oh, dang, we already have one in Novgorod. All right, then. I'm going to build one. Oh, dang, we already have one there, too. All right, I'm going to build a marketplace, and I, I'm so indecisive here. There we go. Continue. Okay. So let's, since there's not really much happening, let's go to speed five. My computer's, like I said, I went down to speed, like, three because I was worried about my computer, but my computer seems to be recovering a little bit faster. So now we can just relax and just watch as everything goes righteously well. And for once, my legitimacy is not killing me. Yay! Go legitimacy! Even though he's technically not the true king of Sweden, still, go legitimacy! Uh, it can make me seem like I am legitimate. Okay, let me get out of building map mode. Okay. Uh. Okay, so right now this settlement is almost there again. It has 744 people. It's almost there. Over here, these guys are almost there. My two only colonies, very much almost, almost done being colonies. Uh, my port is blocked by who? Who would dare block my empire? Like seriously, who would dare block my empire? I am the most powerful empire around here. Technically, yes, I am the most powerful empire around here. Actually, I could claim that. So why would anyone block me? Why? Hmm. Okay, my troops are, you know, slowly, like I said, we also are... We're also kind of healing up all of our troops that have been badly, badly injured in all the attacks. Mm. Okay, and right before they go to war, I'm going to go support them or support their army. Mm. Okay, I have two horsemen and nine infantry. Is that true? Yeah, 9-2. I'm not just destroyed. Okay. Alright, so let's see. Let's wait right here. No. Stop. Go right here. Fully support the men. Yeah! Fully support the men. Let's go! And... do 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 Supply shortage. That's not good. It's also not good for our missionary efforts either. Oh, that was a bad, that was like bad numbers at the end for the rebels. It was just like, boom, 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 dead. Okay. And the religious zealots are dead. And you guys go back to just patrolling, and I'm going to now de-promote you guys. And I'm making a decent amount of money with no loans and no inflation. That is awesome. Um, I think that's actually an episode, guys. I'm, wow. We really have 13 soldiers? Oh wait, that's our army. We have 11... Support 14. So we have 11 soldiers? Okay, so we, yeah, I guess we have 11 soldiers. But anyways, guys, like I was saying, thank you guys for watching. This was a good episode. Kind of more of a relaxation episode. But it's nice to have a relaxation episode every once in a while, honestly. Let's, let's be honest with you. War would not be as fun if, it was const if we were constantly at war. So... And apparently our friends are at war with Bohemia. They are going to get smoked. It's a good thing he didn't call us in. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.